For those of you leaving the district for one reason or another, I'm here to show you how to use Google Takeout so that you can have access to those documents after you are no longer part of the TCAPS user group. The first thing to do is just to simply Google search for Google Takeout. You should see this link here, and I will link this in the show notes. Now we're going to tell Google what data we want to download, and it's not all of it. As you scroll down, you'll see Select Data to Include. Click the button that says Deselect All. Then go only to those tools and categories that you really need, like My Drive. If you have any websites that you built that you wanted to include, you can check that box and then click on All Sites Included. You can deselect all and then only pick the ones that you think you really need uh, after you leave the district. Click OK. Now I have one site selected. You'll probably want to hold on to the website that you created for your student-led conference. Click on Drive and again you can choose which folders you want to select. Um, to do that, deselect all and then only select the ones that you really want to hang on to. Maybe there's a folder that was for a particular class that you think you might need later. When you're done, click OK. The rest of these categories are a lot of tools that we don't use anyway. If you have any Google Photos saved in your TCAP student drive, check that box and then select which photo albums you think you really need to hang on to. Click OK. We recommend that you do not select your mail account. When you've selected all your data, select Next Step. And now we'll tell Google how we want that information delivered. We are going to send a link via email, and it'll be a one-time archive. It'll be a zip file type, and we'll keep the archive size at 2 gigabytes, and anything larger than 2 gigabytes will be split into multiple files, and that will make for easier handling of the data. We will create an archive, and then we receive this message, Archive Progress. An archive of three products is currently being prepared. Please note that archives may take a long time, hours or possibly days to create. You will receive an email when your archive is complete. So we know to keep an eye on our email so that when we receive that message, we know that our archive is ready. Here's the confirmation email that shows that I have requested an archive. I can check activity by clicking this box. This shows that I made a request of an archive of Google data. And now I'm just waiting on the delivery of the Gmail, letting me know that my archive is complete. When your data archive is ready, you'll receive this email. And then it's just a matter of downloading the archive, extracting it, and then uploading to your other account. So I'm going to save this takeout zip archive to my desktop. When that download is complete, I'll open that folder. There's my takeout zip file. I'll select the takeout file and click extract. It'll ask me where I want to save it. That location is fine, but I could use this menu to select my location. When you're ready to upload those files to their new location, click new, file upload or folder upload, and you can save those documents into your new Google Drive account.